Often when people hear about a new drug for dementia, it's still years away from becoming available. New treatments tend to make the headlines when they've shown success in clinical trials. But even then, there are still several steps in the process before a new drug can reach the people who will benefit from it. If the drug is proven to have a significant effect, such as slowing or stopping the diseases, like Alzheimer's, that cause dementia, the data from the trials is sent to regulators. They will decide whether the drug can be licensed as safe and effective to use. If a license is granted, decisions then need to be made about whether the drug can be made available on the NHS. The NHS doesn't have unlimited resources, and often hard decisions must be made about which drugs will have the biggest effect on people's lives. If a drug is likely to be expensive and will have a big impact on the NHS budget, this will lead to further discussions, consultations and negotiations. This will almost certainly be the case for a dementia treatment, due to the high number of people with the condition and the length of time they may need to be treated for. This entire process can take years, but Alzheimer's Research UK works tirelessly at every stage to prevent unnecessary delays. We do this by working with governments, the NHS, healthcare professionals, pharmaceutical companies, other health bodies, people affected by dementia and more. With your help, we're making sure that every effort is being made to make life-changing treatments available as soon as possible.